Welcome back. Tonight, our coverage of Rick Jenneret continues. Two on your size, Andy Payton, spoke with fans tonight about what RJ meant to them. Gets tripped up, gets it to May, and over the line. Here's May going in on goal. He shoots. He scores! How does one describe a man in a few words who always seemed to have the right ones? He's the voice of my childhood. He's someone who can be succeeded but never replaced. He's such a good guy. I mean, they don't come much better, so. It's been my whole life. I was born and raised by Rick Jenneret. That's the question thousands entered Key Bank with tonight as they gathered to honor the loss of a legend. It's like a mix of happiness and oh. That some are still coming to terms with. Sadness. <sighs> a feeling that so many felt two weeks ago when the news broke, fueling many to add a personal touch to the memory of the man who for years touched them. When RJ announced that he had cancer. Kim Taylor was able to touch RJ the way he touched her. I had the shirt and I had them put the numbers and generate on the back. And I said, I'm, not, I'm gonna wear this before every game and I'm not gonna take it off until, until he's cancer free. Leaving RJ when the two met in a rare state, speechless. 52 out of the 53 years of my life. You gotta show respect where it's due, so. But perhaps the best way for us to honor RJ is to let his words speak for themselves. Oh, Ray and Domi, here they go. The gloves are off. They're swinging away. <laughs> mayday, mayday, mayday. Words that last longer than a lifetime. On your side in Buffalo, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.